Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm going on holiday tomorrow, so today I thought I'd film a pack with me what I take in my hand luggage video. I personally love watching this kind of video on YouTube, so I really hope you enjoy this. I'll be sharing my top tips, travel hacks, and of course my favorite snacks to take on the plane. I'm one of those people who love making lists. So of course I've written a list of what to pack in my hand luggage. First on the list is passport, check. Number two, snacks, of course. Snacks are really important to pack for any plane journey. For me, I find it really difficult to find decent plane food with all my intolerances, so I always bring my own. These are a few of the snacks I'm taking. I've got some porridge sachets, which are really useful for traveling. My Ellie's granola, of course. This is my own brand peanut butter granola. It's perfect for snacking on on the plane or having for breakfast. Then I've got some herbal tea. This is the Pucker Day to Night collection. So it's got everything from morning to evening, starting off with matcha and finishing with nighttime tea. Of course, I'd never go away without peanut butter. So I've got the Pippa Nut peanut butter and almond butter sachets which are great for bringing on the plane. I also love these deliciously Ella snacks. These are the nut butter balls and this is the baked oat bar in apple, raisin and cinnamon. These are all gluten free and vegan and I really love that the packaging is plastic free. Then I've got a couple of mini dark chocolates, chocolate hazelnut butter cups, which are absolutely delicious and such a great snack for that sweet spot. I'm also bringing the Livia's Millionaire Squares and Raw Cookie Dough Nuggets. These are so delicious. And finally, this Meridian Almond Butter Bar, which tastes so good and has six grams of protein. Next on the list is toiletries and makeup. I'm not going to take you through my whole makeup bag in this video, but what I am going to show you is what's in my toiletry bag, because this is something I really enjoy watching on other people's videos. As you guys know, I love beauty and skincare products, so I'm starting off with my Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. This is an amazing hot cloth cleanser. I've then got my Origins Moisturizer, so this is a really nice hydrating day cream. Then I've got this lovely set from Cowshed, which is a shower gel and body lotion. These smell so calming and relaxing. I've also got the Cowshed Gentle Cleanser. This one is lavender and it's perfect for traveling. It's only 30 milliliters. Then I've got this natural deodorant from Schmitz, which was kindly gifted to me and I absolutely love it. It's aluminum free and has no artificial fragrances and it genuinely works so well. Of course, I've got my bamboo toothbrush because I'm really trying to minimize my plastic use and then a nail file because there's nothing worse than breaking your nail on the airplane. I've got my sun cream. This actually won't be in my carry-on, but it will go in my suitcase. I like to bring a couple. I start off wearing 45, sometimes 50, and then I'll go down to SPF 30. And this brand is really lovely and natural. It's got no parabens, petroleum, or artificial colors. I'm also bringing this face scrub and body scrub, which are made from coffee grounds. These are so much fun to bring on holiday. I think it's just such a nice form of self-care. Last couple of travel essentials in terms of toiletries are a good hand cream because my hands get so dry on the plane. And finally, this organic skin balm from By Sarah. This is super moisturizing to put on your lips or on any dry skin on the plane. Next on the list is tech. Of course, I've got my laptop, my camera, as well as my vlogging camera, which I'm filming on right now, my phone. <laughs> And then I have my tech pouch, which is basically all my chargers for my phone, camera, and laptop. I'll also fold up my mini travel tripod into this pouch. And then in this pouch with my passport, I've also got other essentials like my wallet, my AirPods, although I'll probably pack a spare pair of earphones just in case these run out of battery on the plane. And of course, a lip balm. Then I've got my glasses, sunglasses, and my contact lenses. Then I've got my gratitude journal, which I've shown you guys before. It says grateful hearts on the front. This is something I write in every day and have been doing for quite a few years. I just write down three things I'm grateful for at the end of each day. It takes just a couple of minutes and it will change your mindset. If you guys do want to start this practice, I couldn't recommend a gratitude journal more. I'll leave a link to my one down below in the description box. 
I'm also bringing a pen, firstly for this, but also when you need to fill out landing forms on the plane, they seem to never have enough pens going around. I'm also bringing three books on holiday, so I find the plane is the only time I get to properly switch off because there's no Wi-Fi. Well, sometimes there is Wi-Fi, but I really try not to connect when there is, and it's so expensive. So the first book I've got is called This Is Going To Hurt. It's been in the Amazon bestseller list for so long. Everyone's been talking about it and I'm finally getting around to starting it. I've also got my personalized bookmark, which I love. It says EB. The next book is one I read a couple of years ago, but I am rereading this book. It's called Guts. It's all about the digestive system, which sounds a bit gross, but I study nutrition. I find gut health absolutely fascinating. This book was just so interesting. It says, the inside story of our body's most underrated organ. This book is totally eye-opening to a topic that we don't talk about enough, so I would really recommend this one. The third and final book I'm bringing on holiday is called The 5am Club by Robin Sharma. People have been going on and on about this book. I actually bought it a while ago and it's been sitting on my bookshelf. I'm so excited to get stuck in. You guys know I love a morning routine and waking up early and being productive and I think that's what this book is all about. So I can't wait to read this one and I'll let you guys know what I think. I just want to add that I absolutely love reading and I don't do it enough in London. I feel like I get most of my reading done on holiday so if you guys have any book recommendations please leave them in the comments below and I'll check them out. I don't know about you guys, but I travel with my own little pharmacy on me. Everything from multivitamins to probiotics to antihistamines, I've got it all in here. And the very last thing I take in my hand luggage is my reusable water bottle. I think it's really easy to make excuses when we're traveling to not be sustainable, but you know on the plane when they give you those tiny plastic cups, I just think it's so wasteful. So bring an empty reusable water bottle and then you can fill it up with water once you get past all the airport control. You can just pop into any of the restaurants and ask them to fill it with tap water. There's usually fountains all over the airports as well these days. So that is everything I pack in my hand luggage. I don't think I've left anything off. If I am forgetting something, please leave a comment down below to let me know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.